Up. I have a feeling he's just going to cut it to the left. I'm trying to take that out. Well, I can be there so he can take that out. One of the windows is taped over. Yeah, that's the Hyundai break the back well, window. Uh, are we unable to unlock the door that way? And then the problem is that's the back window. Now you're in the back of the car. Yeah. Okay. But can you make it three through the front of one? Even then, that's all. The, the turn end on if he stays asleep while we're doing all that. Yeah. 
you guys run the tag? Yeah. So it's tags. Reported. It's not reported stolen yet. I thought the owner just. Say what? Trying to get the gin. I'll be there. Did the, did the return come back? Hmm. Yeah. He's moving. His head's moving. He, he took a look in the front. He's so. moving. His head moved. His head moved. Your no. Day. For us, it's, 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 it's,
We can do it the safest them. way possible, but I mean, I'm, we're not going to take the arrest for it. No, 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 so, no. Yeah, yeah. I'll walk them in. Yeah, I'll walk them in so you guys don't have to worry about it. It's that SUV all the way up there. It's silver hunting yeah. in front of the red. Yeah, so I can. Um, it's a red Ford. Yeah, oh, yeah. So I can I can slow roll and get right in front of them whenever you guys are ready. Um, because I'm. Worry, worry. I think we just got the vent, so we're gonna. Yeah, yeah. Extremely phone. I think we, my uh, office said that he put it on the emissions phone. Yes. So he's asleep. Yeah. The emissions phone from the tag comes back. We, to we had one. He was uh, asleep on the parkway. He was asleep on the parkway. His emissions phone. Papa, don't think so. Hey. Screwdriver in the ignition. Oh, nice. It was his own car. He got drunk and lost his keys and was Papa, trying to pop his own ignition and fell asleep mid. mid other officers. I started sweating a little bit. Had to get out of there, and it's colder than I'm ready. So, if it is 10 and 9, um, I'm on the block with my car or whatever. They can't block. 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 They can't
Yeah, I mean, I, I, and, and you, you guys, guys taking your rest of I'm fine with that. You good there? Yeah. yeah. You got a breath last time? Yeah. Who's, uh, what are all? Who will break the window? Is it going to be this officer up here? No, um, I mean, this, this is why we need shot blocks. I know some, some apartments carry like, 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 it's similar to the and they just put it in front of the tire. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think I can get the phone call. Oh, the DJ guy. The DJ guy. The DJ guy. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah they brought it back to the station. station. Yes. yes. Um, either, what's his name? The little dirty one, one and, uh, and uh, says, no. Do you take them back, back and take the card? So, so you, you unface them in front of his house, house and you're not holding them? Obviously, obviously, I would prefer what the problem is that you're doing in the middle of the world. Mm -hmm. Safe right. than sorry. The only other idea I can think of is the back window is broken. Oh, I can't believe it. Cut out that. Uh, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm super uncomfortable. With you. You want, are you waiting for confirmation on what y'all want to do? Or do you want me to well, do? so on our end, yeah, but uh, to begin more quiet, like just cut it out. Him a way to open that door carefully, and then I mean, you can't get in. Try to pull yeah, this uh, we are not allowed to box. Because once you break it, he's uh, gonna wake up. And you don't want to pull him out on the vehicle, can't? We don't want well, we can't, can't pull them out. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we'll break the window. There's the, there's the tape over the window we can cut and find a lock. Actually, we'll the back window is ready for yeah. Carefully, yeah. Carefully, yeah. I can do that. Yeah. 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 Cut it yeah. out. Yeah. Yeah. Or lock, lock the door from the exterior. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
if the open baby's still, still not down, down there, kind of make room. Mm -hmm. Quick, quick, just jump in there, grab him, grab his hands, go let him put it in drive. Okay. Part of the room is just a plain bowl, not like fish bowl. Yeah. I was just making sure it's a little bit of a stone. He's got a phone on his lap. He does have his man, and which is good for us. Inside his waistline, you know, but I don't see any on So if we can just secure that man, quickly get in there, he's amazing. Yeah, if you take soft, take soft. Yeah, yeah. Just don't get caught inside of that. So, no, no. Uh, it's stolen. So I think that's the best approach. Quietly cut out the thing, unlock that door. If he doesn't get startled, you know, I can always cut it, unlock it, and bend down. If he doesn't get startled, that'd be kind of If he hasn't woken up yet, I feel like. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we'll, I'll turn everything up. down whenever you're ready. But please don't get caught inside. Yeah. Remind me all my shit's on site. Yeah, I'm my phone's on site. Exit your vehicle quietly and come meet us in the corner so you can go I mean, it's, it's, it's just a stone. No, we'll, we'll try, try to get it down. Yeah. 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 But, but you don't want to make it Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, my right. camera is going to be Yeah, yeah. 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 I asked him to come over here quietly so we can tell him that was going on. Oh, yeah. Hey, hey, hey. So here's the plan. He's knocked out. The back window is just a flat. I'm going to try to cut that out quietly. Or lock the door. He doesn't get started when we wake up and then we try to get in here. Grab him for him. We've got one hand and 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 we've got one hand if he does, he's he's gone. Gone. He does, But don't get inside that car. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.
This way is it. Towards me? What do you need? Fuck. Alright. Try to get out of here. Yeah, I can, you know what, bring him towards... Tell him that he's out. Hey, buddy. Hey, women. Hey, we're going to try to move you, all right? Hey, hey. Hey, I can move a leg. I don't know what it's going to do. But we can move legs, and then you want to go back towards you, or you want to come towards me? You want to come towards me, help me with his feet? We're going to take head for Yeah. 
You got the kit? Yeah. DCC kit. I need, I need Major, major Goss Goss in, the in the back. And I need shit for the stomach, too. The okay, one, two, two, two rounds. Two. Three. Three. Oh, I need a, I need a pass, pass back. back. What do you got, what do you got for me? You all right? You all right? I need your shit back, too. Okay. Uh, I need back. back. You see the end of the Just, just anything I can slap on him. That'll work. That'll work. Got any tape? Got any tape? Yes. Yes. Oh, you got, you got what, two, two, two in there? there. Three, three. Got to get tape in there. Yes, yes, sir. We'll take a tape out of it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That'll work. That'll work. Uh, uh, this is, this is, this is. I need to see this. Shit. 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 You got the Yeah, yeah. Hey, they got the Is that all you got? Hey, in the back of the There should be a small bag on the floorboard. That'll work. That'll work. Hey, you got the Yeah, yeah. Hey, 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 we'll keep them up, them up. What do we got? We got another yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 You guys, you guys got an AD? Anybody? Hey, hey. Got an AD? AD. Are you good? Are you good? Hey, can you hear me? Hear me? Okay, I'm gonna put him down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, Mark out CPR. Mark out CPR. Mark out CPR. Hey, you good? 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 Let's go, AD. They're responding, responding, responding. Let Eagle, Eagle know when I'm doing LC right by the house behind glass. I don't know what I'm doing. I heard him say River Terrace Park. That's what they're saying. Hey, 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 hey. Come on, man. You good? Hey, you're good. 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 Hey, you got an AD? Hey, you got an AD? What is this? What is this? Ah, that's that sound. He's gonna what? Hey, you got Hey, you good? Are you good? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Yeah,
He was out, he was out in the vehicle, unresponsive, tried to move him, and then he took off. Yeah, he was unresponsive before getting shot. Okay. Hey. Do not get into that car. If he flees, let him go. You all saw that video. You saw the first thing that that officer did was get into that car. You also saw the officers pulling Mr. Martin in opposite directions. We're not a cohesive unit. Have we learned nothing from George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, Leonard Shan, Manuel Oates, Ron Brown, Zaris Wilson, Troy Bullock, and countless others whose lives have been taken away because all police officers want to do is shoot first and ask questions later? How long will they be able to hide behind their badge to justify taking a life? How long will we as a community have to continue to have the talk with our young black children because they are treated differently by police? They're treated differently on the street. They're treated differently during traffic stops. And in cases like Breonna Taylor, they treated differently in their homes. Delaneo did not have to die. We will pursue justice for Delaneo with or without the help of the federal government or the District of Columbia. And to the Park Police Union Chief who condones this killing Shame on you. I hope that you never have to experience the pain that Miss Martin has had to endure, that her family has had to endure. Um, seen the video yesterday of my son being murdered. I'm lost. Like, my kids got a door. Seeing their brother murdered all over national TV. I want the officer name released immediately. I want him arrested. I want him to stop getting paid while he murdered my son and still home with his family, not doing no work and getting paid for murder. Time and time again, I sit and I try to get my head wrapped around this and I can't. I don't sleep, I don't eat, and justice need to be served. My son should still be here. 
but instead the officers. I want all the officers punished for all their roles. This pain hurts so bad. I just want justice for my son. And I need the officer to be locked up. All of them that played the role. He got in that car because he had another motive for my son. It didn't take six shots. I talked to the medical examiner again this morning, and he said it was six shots. And my son died instantly. And the video self-explains everything that they did to my son. And how can you justify this? How are we going to justify this? The officer can't justify this. He home with his kid. And I'm kidless, planning his funeral. And got to console his other siblings. And no type of money will make me feel better. I need my son back. That shouldn't have never been taken from him. He didn't get murdered on the street. He didn't get murdered in jail. He got murdered by park police that felt that they had the more power to take a life. He wasn't the judge, the prosecutor, or the jury, but he chose to take my son's life and he getting away with it. So I'm asking his name to be released immediately. All officers that played a role in their plot to execute my son. And I will fight until the day they locked up, all of them. No one, how you say the police department supposed to serve and protect when they killing us? This the worst type of trauma that anybody can endure. I got to walk around fearing for my life, fearing for my other son's life and my other kid's life, my grandkid's life from the police. That's not how it's supposed to be. So I need the officer arrested immediately for murder, first degree murder. His lieutenant locked up. The MPD officer that said, don't get in the car, I need him. And I need the other officer. I want all the officers that were involved locked up for murder. Tell us about your son, what he liked, what he did, what it, you know, role he, role he played in the family. Um, so Delano is my fifth child. He loved his son. When he had his son, it changed his life. Um, he wanted to start doing things different. He's my, he's my dancer. He liked to, he loved kids. Um, he my sunshine, that's my protector. You took my protector away. Um, he loved his siblings, so they were very close, all of them, or nine of them are close. Very, very close. Um, I watch his videos of him always dancing, he always dancing, always talking about, don't record me, Ma. Stop taking a picture of me, Ma. Um, he's my baby. That's my baby. And the fifth of how many now, did you say? It's ten of them. He's the fifth. When you watched that video yesterday, you could clearly hear the MPD officer on the scene going through all the things 
that they could try and get Delano out of the car. And it was very clear that the MPD officer, who I'm told has 20 years experience on the job, said don't get in the car. Mm -hmm. And yet the Park Police officer gets in the car. Mm -hmm. what, do you, what do you make of that? He's standing, you can see the Park Police officer standing right next to the officer that said that. He was, they could hear it, and there's no question unless they were just ignoring him. What do you make of that? that he wanted to do what he wanted to do. And he felt like he had more power than MPD. He felt like MPD couldn't tell him what to do. That had 20 years. I don't know the officer that went in the back. I don't know how long he'd been on the force. Um, all of that need to be brought out because you sure did take over a situation and murdered my son. Yeah, I think it, it goes back to what we've been talking about for decades, centuries, that Black Lives Matter. Mm -hmm. And this officer, when he took that action, he did not care what happened to the lady. By any means necessary, he was going to try to get him out of that vehicle, even if that meant taking his life. Mm -hmm. There's another video from another MPD officer that when the car pulls off, He's told that the park police officer is in the car and he's incredulous. Did you hear that video as well? Yes. He said there's a park, the park officer is still in the car? Yeah. It kind of defies explanation, doesn't it? Yeah. I mean, they spent 30 minutes talking through how to get him out of the car. Right. And still, this happened. And, and you saw the amount of police cars on scene. I mean, we've all watched movies We've seen this play out before. They didn't. They didn't block, try to block him in. Uh, they even said, "Here, this is his avenue of escape," as if they knew that he was going to try to escape. I, I just. One one other follow up. Uh, I don't know if anybody else has questions here, but um, you know, six years ago, U.S. Park Police were involved in another fatal shooting of Bijan Gazon. Mm -hmm. and if you follow that, you know, those officers are still sitting on paid administrative leave. Mm -hmm. The court case has gone nowhere. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just been, been given free pass. Mm -hmm. There's a civil suit going on. And so those officers have not been held to account, even though there's a video of the shooting. Do you fear that you may be in the same kind of situation here where uh, even though there's a video that U.S. Park Police are sort of a different animal here. So, um, I don't have any fears on taking on the federal government. It's something that me and my team would do on a day in and day out basis. Um, the people of the District of Columbia should be able to make this decision during a jury trial, during an indictment process. And that's what we intend to do, whether the government wants to take part in this or not. Uh, we're going to be pressing forward to get justice for the With that case, the Gazon case, it took years for just a name to be released, um, the names of those two officers. I mean, has Park Police told you all anything regarding that, whether they're interested in getting it? So they have not um, talked to me about that specifically, but they have stated that under, um, uh, because he's a federal employee, that that's why they haven't released his name. What is your understanding of policy? DC police told us that it is not their training to get into a vehicle the way that they did. What's your understanding of park police policy in a situation like this? We're I know you said. In, yeah, we're still investigating that, uh, and, and we don't have a, a response to that. And I understand, I, I heard you make comments to the union president. Um, a lot of the immediate response we got from police was that he was sitting in a stolen car. How do you respond to that, given all you know and what you saw? So it sounds like MPD cares more about property than the people that they are sworn to protect. Do you guys know why he was there that morning, or what he was doing? Well, he was sleep he was sleeping, uh, right. so that's that's why he was there. Right, was he waiting for somebody? I don't know. There's, I'm just wondering if you had anything to do with those mm -hmm. circumstances. Um, uh, around him sleeping in the car, or? Uh, yeah, I mean, he was, he was like sleeping in bed, so I'm guessing he was yeah. sleeping in the car because he had to do something or was waiting for somebody. Oh, uh, well, you know, he was, 
Yeah. It was his choice that night to sleep in the car. I mean, it was a car that was on, running, he was sleeping in it. I mean, we saw the video that even, he was so deep into his sleep that even when the officers opened the door, I mean, he was still sleeping. To Stephanie's question, um, yesterday we heard from district officials who were giving us a little bit of background on that policy, the, the DC police policy. They said that they leave that mode of escape or area of escape, they leave that so that you don't end up in a situation where somebody gets hurt. They also said that the thing about not getting in the car, you mentioned that you want to hold those MPD officers responsible. Do you think, I mean, as far as we've heard, they said preliminarily it doesn't look like they broke policy and they might not be held responsible. What do you have to say to that? Well, that's, I think the investigation should play out a little bit more in terms of what those officers were responsible for and not responsible for. Have you been told whether or not that park officer had a taser? Mm -hmm. So I looked at the video several times. It's redacted to a point where you can't really see much more than the gun on that officer. I think upon several more views of different angles, you can try to ascertain. I have seen other officers that did have tasers, but there was never any kind of discussion during this 30 some odd minute pre-planning meeting that a taser would be would be deployed at any point. Are, are you calling for the MPD officers to be punished or for them to testify in order to help your case, since especially the one who said don't get in the car? So at this point, uh, we're explore, ex keeping all options on the table. If, if you recall in those videos, there's a lot that still has not been disclosed in terms of the length of the body worn camera videos. Um, there's even some points where it seems like a video has been chopped and things have been redacted. Also, you know, do they have redactions on people's faces? We don't know what expressions are looking like. We don't know whether or not there was kind of an understanding among them of what was going to end up happening. Um, the Blaine was a 17-year-old boy that was maybe 140 you know, or 50 pounds soaking wet. He was not very large. Uh, when you see these other officers that approach him, the fact that they're, he didn't also did not have a seatbelt on, the fact that they were not able to pull him out of the vehicle is very suspicious to me in, in terms of what their actual object was at that point. I just came across this reporting from CNN and they're saying that um, DOJ, the FBI, the State Attorney's Office, they're all in a civil rights investigation now into this case. So yes. Were you aware of that? And yes, I was. Too? Yes, I was. And um, that's something that I, I certainly welcome. But again, if they don't want to do their job and hold these officers accountable, we certainly will. Another thing, um, shortly after the shooting occurred, um, one of the uh, departments there made mention that there was a gun in the car. And yesterday, the district officials were very quick to clarify that they didn't know who the gun actually belonged to. How do you <laughs> feel about that? Is the disclosure of that information when it was disclosed after the shooting? You know, when I when I watched that video, I believe it was the Park Police video, and it was 12 minutes long. And at the at the end of the video, it's just this random gun that was just there, right? No explanation <laughs> for it or anything like that. Um, but you saw in the MPD video camera that the MPD officer who initially approached the scene, it was very clear to him that there was no gun. He said, "Oh, you know, he has his hand on his waist, but I don't see anything there." So there was never any threat for the use of gun, but again, consistent with the union chief, they're trying to portray a narrative to absolve their, their employee of any liability and themselves of any liability. You mentioned the union chief. Who's the union chief and where did they, did they make oh, this? Oh, they, they did make a statement. Uh, they, they did a, a press release stating that uh, they stand behind the officer uh, and his actions that day. Can you just clarify, um, you had mentioned that you saw a video that was redacted. So what was released to us, you all saw that same video or you were allowed to review unredacted? No, so, so we didn't, uh, Ms. Mathis actually viewed that video with the family, um, but the video was not, it, it, the faces were still. We didn't see the video at all. The video that we were initially showed with the family members yesterday at 1 p.m. before it was publicly released, was about 10 minutes for MPD as well as Park Police, and it was not, 
It was completely different than the video that we saw on the news, which was 30 minutes um, per agency. So we did not see approximately 20 minutes of uh, both agencies' video. Did you all review that at Park Police or in the uh, Behavioral Health. Oh, DC behavior. Yes, yeah, DC behavior. So was there an officer there who showed you the video? No, there was a uh, psychologist there. I, my understanding is that an NPD a representative and a park police officer, I did see her, they were in the, sorry, in the facility um, in a room next door. It should we have any questions. However, the, the, the person inside of the room is a psychologist. Behavioral health, where, where is that? That's 64, 64 New York, York Avenue. 64 New York Avenue. Uh, government, uh, um, building, uh, government building. Okay. And you were shown about 10 minutes of both departments or just mm -hmm. one or the other? Correct. We were shown two different videos, um, but both of them were approximately maybe about 10 and a half, 11 minutes. Yeah, they were not a half an hour as they were shown on the news. Why do you think that is? We would love to know. We were very shocked yesterday when we saw the footage on the news. We were completely confused. So that is something we would love to know. And I specifically asked them before they showed it to us yesterday, how long are these videos? So I can, so the family can decide how long they have to sit through this. And he said about 11 minutes before he played both of them. So. Did, did you see the Park Police produced video in which they're explaining it all? They have yeah. text yes. on the screen and they hear a <laughs> yes. voice behind yes. it yes. trying to explain it all? So that's the same thing that we got. Yes. No, no. Fox 5 had a different video. Fox 5 videos were way longer, so when it was brought to my attention, you didn't see this? I said, no, I didn't. So my kids, my 15-year-old, actually brought me his phone and was, I said, I didn't see this. I called Nene, and I said, look at this. And I sent it to her. I said, send it to my attorneys, and this is crazy, because why would they allow the news to show something that I never seen. That was horrible. And the video that Fox 5 got through a third video were horrible. Nobody should want to see that. How, that's that's just bad. Which, which and I, I, I'm sorry to ask this, but which part of the video did you not see that you saw in the news that you hadn't seen before? It's the shooting, when they grabbed them out, when they still had guns drawn on them, when the officer opened the door and got out the car, when he had his gun still on my son, the sergeant that supposed to have been uh, drugged mm -hmm. got his gun on my son in the passenger seat. The, his foot is still on the gas because he was already dead. And they lifting his leg over and they dragging him out. They yeah. sitting him out and they making all types of jokes about, oh, he's still breathing, he cursing. It was bad. And I, nobody should have seen that or adored that. And no, they didn't show me that. The, that actual, was video, the actual video stopped, yeah. and what they showed was just them doing CPR. The video that was seen, because I was with the family, we only saw the, the scene where they actually just did CPR on Delanese. De De so De after, the mo after the shoot, after shots after fired. They shot the shooter and jumped right to the officers doing CPR. We so didn't see the crash, we didn't see any of that. Show. But Fox 5 got it all. Well, we, we got the same Everybody, video, yeah. we chose not to show it. Oh, yeah. Well, guess what? How did y'all get it? Yeah. So and you had me sit in the that room. That was released to everyone. Yeah. yeah. They did not show. Yeah, we didn't see him. We should have been shown. I've had a 30 minute clip. I've got another question to ask. I'm sorry about this, how uncomfortable it may be, but do you know where the wounds of his body were? Were they his head? Were they his back? Did they tell you? I know where they are, but I prefer not to say. You can see where they are. When you look at the shooting, and you'll know where they are. Five shots. Well, Ms. Yeah, that we are sending five shots, five to, shots the to the back. Just we need justice back. for that. But when she's prepared to discuss where the wounds are, then we will release that information. I wanted to ask another question. Mm -hmm. It's hard to ask, but I ask it out of fairness to you because they make such a big deal. I know this was a stolen vehicle. Did, do you know at this point if, if, if he stole it, if somebody else stole it, or do you not know? That is not something that we we are discussing at this point, or we're prepared to discuss at this point. All we know is that he was in it and he was sleeping, which is not illegal. Like I said, I only, I only ask because they made such a big deal out of this. I want to give you a chance. Yeah. But they, they, yeah. not, we just know that he was sleeping in it, which is not illegal or criminal. What do you, you know, there's a lot being said here, um, but at the end of the day, there's one thing you could say to the community, what would that be? 
we got to fight more about justice with the police killing our children. I mean, no mother should be right here where I'm at. No mother. And no mother should have their child shooting all over the world that anybody can see it. It's now on YouTube. It's everywhere. And, you know, this 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 pain is is a pain that you should nobody adore. Should nobody adore. Not nobody. I don't care what happened. I don't care what they say about him. I don't care about anything. He's my child. He's my son. And until you be where I'm at today, you would never understand. You'll never understand.